In part one of this video, I'll show you two examples on how to expand a polynomial. We'll start with question A. Here we are asked to expand and simplify negative 2x times 3x plus 1 minus 3 bracket 4x minus 3. To do this, we will use the distributive law, which tells us that if we have a monomial multiplied to an expression in brackets, we'll take this negative 2x and multiply it to the terms inside the bracket to its right. Similarly, we have a negative 3 here. That's a monomial. We're going to multiply that to 4x and negative 3. Starting with the negative 2x times 3x, we end up with negative 6x squared. Negative 2x times 1 gives us negative 2x. Negative 3 times 4x gives us negative 12x. And negative 3 times negative 3 gives us positive 9. You'll notice that the two middle terms are alike. They both contain the variable x, and x is raised to the same power, 1. That means we can combine the coefficients, negative 2 and negative 12. That gives us a final answer of negative 6x squared minus 14x plus 9. Let's use the same method now for question b. Here we're asked to expand this polynomial. And this polynomial is a lot more complicated than the previous one. Notice that we have 2 multiplied to two sets of brackets, and we have this negative m multiplied to this expression that is raised to the power of 2. There are many ways to approaching this, but what I would do first is multiply this 2 to the first two terms, and then enclose the product in brackets themselves. Let me show you what I mean. So 2 times 5m gives us 10m, and 2 times negative 2 gives us 4. Now since there is another bracket to its right, we are going to enclose these two terms with brackets, and these two terms are going to remain in their brackets, m plus 3. At the same time, I'm going to expand this portion of the polynomial so that it looks like this, minus m, m minus 1, m minus 1, because m minus 1 to the power of 2 is the same thing as this expression. The next thing that I will do is multiply these two binomials together, and I'll also multiply this m to this first set of brackets, similar to how I did these two. So let's go ahead and do that. 10m times m, I'm going to show you with arrows. 10m times m gives us 10m squared. 10m times 3 gives us plus 30m. Now I'm going to multiply this negative 4 with this m, and this negative 4 with this positive 3. Negative 4 times m is negative 4m. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. So this expression here is the expanded form of this expression. And at the same time, m times m is m squared. m times negative 1 is negative m. I'm going to enclose this in brackets, and I'm going to put this minus at the front. m squared times m gives us m to the power of 3. Remember, we have this minus at the front, so everything you multiply within these two binomials will be influenced by that minus at the very end. Let me show you what I mean. m squared times negative 1 is m squared. These two multiplied give us negative m squared. Negative m times negative 1 gives us positive m. You can combine these two terms together. They give us minus 2m. And we also have this minus, which we haven't forgotten about. And this minus will influence every term within the brackets. This leaves us writing it all from the beginning, 10m squared positive 26m minus 12 minus m cubed plus 2m squared minus m. This term and this term are alike. This term and this term are alike. This term has nothing alike, and this term is on its own as well. So we're left with, starting with the largest power, negative m cubed, combining the greens, plus 12m squared, combining the blues, plus 25m, and finally, minus 12. This expression is the expanded form of this expression. And so there you have it. 
two examples on how to expand a polynomial. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.